Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches. It's good to have you here, Maribel, Isaac, Daniel, Genaro, Elenita. Good to have you here, my dear participants. Uh, for today, we are going to continue studying um, the section number four. Remember that today we have class uh, today and tomorrow. So this Friday is going to be free, but uh, I will appreciate that you can finish all the uh, related to section four, okay? Eh, recuerden que esta semana, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos básicamente clase eh, ahora y mañana, ¿verdad? El día viernes es libre, ¿verdad? Después de dos viernes seguidos que hemos estado trabajando, el día viernes ya es libre para ustedes. Sin embargo, eh, quiero pedirles que por favor avancemos, ¿verdad? En esta semana, concluyendo todo lo que sería la section 4, la sección número 4, para poder eh, luego trabajar eh, la próxima semana, ¿verdad? All together, todos juntos, section number eh, five, la sección cinco, ¿verdad? Remember that next week is our uh, end of, of uh, module. La próxima semana tenemos eh, la finalización de módulo and we are going to have eh, the uh, final exam. Vamos a tener el examen final, ¿verdad? Eh, so, um, Next week, by Thursday, el, el viernes, ¿verdad? De la próxima semana, eh, yo esperaría, ¿verdad? Que tengamos un tiempo para eh, poder eh, concluir, ¿verdad? Lo que sería el final exam, el examen final. Ok, uh, let me go. Vamos a ir a la plataforma. Eh, me gustaría saber si hay alguien que ha estado avanzando en la plataforma y si han tenido dificultades o algo que reportar. O if can I help? Si yo puedo ayudar. Just let me know. Solo me lo dicen, ¿verdad? Me escriben. Estamos tratando. Sí. A Tengo ver. una que ha tenido problemas, pero voy a revisar qué número es. Ok, me avisan, ¿verdad? Y eh, me escriben y me mandan la, la imagen, ¿verdad? Por favor, para poder saber. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo apoyarle, verdad? Ok, very good. So, let me show you. We are going to continue with the 4.8, right? The frequency adverbs. Last night we already started this topic. Anoche comenzamos, verdad, con este tema. And I left pending the 4.9. Eh, nada más introdujimos, verdad? Lo que eran los frequency adverbs and the pyramid, the inverted pyramid, la pirámide invertida, ¿verdad? So let me share. Voy a compartir con ustedes eh, cómo está en la plataforma para que completemos el ejercicio. Ok. Ok, can you watch the platform now? ¿Podemos ver ahora la plataforma? Ok. Ok, perfect. It says knowledge check 4.9. Uh, unscramble the sentences and write each sentence in the correct order. Vamos a poner en orden, ¿verdad? Y luego vamos a escribir. So, for example, I, uh, I have breakfast on never weekends. So, uh, we need to go to the structure and say, I, subject pronoun, I, uh, then the frequency adverb, never have breakfast on weekends, right? Uh, so the next one, I, it says work, I, snacks, eat, at hardly ever. Okay, so this is uh, trying to put it in order. So I start with a, a, a personal pronoun, I, and you can say I, hardly ever. Después sigue el frequency adverb, ¿verdad? Hardly ever. ¿Qué dijimos que significaba hardly ever? ¿O cuánto porcentaje de posibilidad teníamos? Just like 10%, right? Como un 10%, ¿verdad? Es que raramente, ¿verdad? O casi nunca. I hardly ever. Y luego sigue el verbo, ¿verdad? Eat. I hardly ever eat. Eat what? Snacks. Snacks. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. El complemento, ¿verdad? Eh, ok, eh, sería como raramente como, eh, digamos, bocadillos en este caso, o, o eh, 
eso, ¿verdad? Bocadillos o, o lo que veríamos en buen salvadoreño, chuchería, ¿verdad? <ríe> yeah, but actually they are bocadillos, more, more elegant. <ríe> ok, now, eh, next. Eat for pasta dinner sometimes I. Si ustedes recuerdan, dijimos que sometimes podía ir, ya vamos a regresar a esa parte, podía ir al inicio de la oración, ¿verdad? No todos los frequency adverbs can go at the beginning, but we say sometimes, sometimes I eat pasta for dinner, okay? Algunas veces como pasta para la cena. Déjenme ver acá. Uy. Ay, creo que lo borré. Permítanme. Ah, sí. Y esto me va a dar problema. Ah. Déjenme ver si no he dejado dobles espacios. No, ok. Next one. Have my I dinner with open family. Ok. I, siempre el subject pronoun. And then the frequency okay. adverb. I often. Oh. Ok, then the verb, I often have dinner. Have dinner. Esto es cenar, ¿verdad? Have dinner, cenar. Eh, cuando hablamos de los tiempos de, de comida, podemos decir, have breakfast, have lunch, and have dinner. Eso es desayunar, almorzar y cenar. Which is different to eat. Puede ser eat. ¿Verdad? Pero ya cuando decimos eat, es el momento preciso en that I'm swallowing, right? Es el momento preciso en el que estoy, ¿verdad? Introduciendo los alimentos. Entonces, pero si me quiero referir al tiempo de comida, por ejemplo, estoy almorzando, I'm having lunch. O estoy desayunando, I'm having breakfast. O estoy cenando, I'm having dinner. Luego, si usted me pregunta, en teacher, what are you eating? Ah, and then I can say, I'm eating uh, chicken for lunch. Estoy comiendo pollo, ¿verdad? Para el almuerzo. Or I'm eating fried bananas and beans for breakfast. Estoy comiendo plátano frito y frijolitos para el desayuno. Or I'm eating pupusas and tamales for dinner. Okay? Es diferente. Ya estoy diciendo el, el platillo, ¿verdad? O los alimentos que estoy eh, degustando. Oye, ok. I often have dinner with oops, excuse me. I often have dinner with family. my family. My so, family. let's check it out. Chequémoslo. Yeah, that's it. Vea, entonces, ¿cómo nos quedó? I hardly ever, ¿verdad? I hardly ever eat snacks no. eh, at work. Ok, si se fijan, puse eh, primero el subject pronoun, I, después, later, plus, the uh, frequency adverb, then the verb, and then the complement. Only in the case of sometimes, I write it at the beginning. Solamente en el caso de sometimes, lo escribí antes del subject pronoun. Para decir sometimes, I eat pasta for dinner. And in the next one, I say, I often have dinner with my family. Y eso es, eh, a menudo, eh, seno con mi familia. Okay, let's continue. Continuemos. Eh, 4.10. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about special foods. Develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Okay, this is going to be tomorrow. Para mañana, for tomorrow, we are going to develop this part and I will bring additional articles for reading. Para mañana vamos a trabajar esta parte y yo voy a traer eh, material adicional, ¿verdad? Para que trabajemos lo que sería el scanning and reading for detail. Eso es lectura comprensiva para la detección de detalles, ¿verdad? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I will go to the presentation that I have for you tonight and... Eh, we are going to continue practicing because last night we couldn't practice. ¿verdad? Vamos a continuar con la práctica porque ayer no practicamos. Just, uh, I just introduced the topic. Okay. Eh, if you remember this inverted pyramid from last night class, we said that the, the adverbs are words that modify verbs. 
¿Okay? Partimos de decir que los adverbios son palabras que modifican los verbos. So, which are the verbs in these sentences? ¿Cuáles son los verbos en estas oraciones? ¿Alguien me puede decir? In this one, which is the verb? Wait. Wait. Wake up, right? It's a two-word verb. Es un verbo de dos palabras, ¿verdad? And in the second one? Come. Come, okay. In the third one? Swim. 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 In the fourth one? Spend. Spend. Okay. In the, in this one? Play. Okay. In the next? Eat. Eat. Okay. In here? Go. Okay. In the next one? Listen. And listen, right? And listen. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, let's see. When we use listen, remember that always that we use the verb listen, we use to. Este verbo siempre van estas dos palabritas. Es como wake up. Two word verbs. Verbo de dos palabras, ¿verdad? Eh, listen to. Eh, listen to the radio. Listen, in, listen to music. Listen to your teacher. Listen to your boss. Listen to me. Always listen to. Escuchar a, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, again. When we say the frequency adverb always, we are talking about 100% of possibility that something happened. When we use the frequency adverb, usually we are talking about 90%. When we use um, a, a normally or generally, we are talking about 80% of possibility. And then when we use um, often or frequently, we are talking about 70%. 50%, half and half is sometimes. Occasionally means 30% of possibility. Seldom, just 10% of possibilities. Rarely, 5% of possibilities. And never, 0%. It means never, nunca, ¿verdad? Okay, here I have more examples. I always study after class. I usually walk to work. I normally get good marks. I often read in bed at night. I sometimes sing in the shower. Vea que este sometimes puede ir. Sometimes I sing in the shower or I sometimes sing in the shower. Y está bien. The other ones normally go after the subject pronouns. Los, los demás normalmente van después del, del pronombre sujeto, ¿verdad? I occasionally go to bed late. I seldom put salt on my food. I hardly ever get angry. Vegetarians never eat meat. Eh, vea que never siempre va antes del verbo principal, ¿verdad? Eh, it, it's the same like always, ¿verdad? Y en el, igual que always. Pero veamos aquí. Eh, then the normal formula I was saying last night that is subject plus adverb plus main verb. Daniel, subject, adverb, always. Main verb passes his exams. Look at this. Veamos acá. Vea que estamos usando un frequency adverb, but the main verb is respecting the third person singular rule. Veamos que estamos usando un adverbio, pero también el verbo principal está siguiendo la regla de la tercera persona singular. And because I'm talking about Daniel, I don't say pass. I say passes. Como estoy hablando de Daniel, que es he, tercera persona al singular, utilizo la regla, ¿verdad? Y le agrego ES, passes. Daniel always passes his exams. Ok, this is the structure. Esta es la estructura con cualquier verbo que no es el verbo to be. Pero cuando tenemos el verbo to be, eh, que ya sabemos que es am para I, is for he, she, it, And are for the rest of the other, for the rest of the uh, pronouns, we say, he is always happy. ¿Verdad? En este caso, solamente utilizando el verbo be, es que vamos a poner el verbo antes que el adverbio. He is always happy. He is never late. Um, he is occasionally angry and so, and so on. Okay? Uh, so please keep in mind this. Mantengamos esto en mente, ¿verdad? That only when you have verb B, the frequency is after the verb B. Subject plus B plus adverb. 
Okay, uh, here I have other examples that I to told you last night. I always go to bed before 11 p.m. I usually have cereal for breakfast. I normally go to the gym. I often surf the internet. I sometimes forget my wife's birthday. I occasionally eat junk food. Junk food equals to trash food, ¿verdad? Comida chatarra. I seldom read the newspapers. I hardly, hardly ever drink alcohol. I never swim in the sea. Okay, now let's practice. This is your turn for practicing. So let's say, how often do you exercise? How often do you go to the beach? How often do you dance? How often do you go to the cinema? How often do you go to the mountain? How often do you ride a bike? How often do you play soccer? And how often do you go for a walk? Remember that the frequency adverbs always answer to the question, how often? Recuerde que los adverbios de frecuencia siempre responden a la pregunta, how often? ¿Qué tan seguido? ¿Qué tan a menudo? ¿O con qué frecuencia? I'm going to send you the pictures. Eh, voy a enviarles las imágenes. And I want you to practice and discuss these questions in the breakout rooms. Y la práctica consiste en um, ask each other, preguntarnos, ¿verdad? Eh, keep these short conversations in the breakout rooms. Tener estas conversaciones cortas, ¿verdad? En los, en los grupos pequeños. Using the frequency adverbs. What I expect from you is that you can an, eh, answer to these questions using the frequency adverbs pyramid. Lo que yo espero, ¿verdad? Es que utilicemos la pirámide de los adverbios de frecuencia para dar respuesta a estas preguntas. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, Isaac. Thank you for sending us great pictures. Gracias Isaac por las bonitas fotos que envió. Okay, let's stop sharing and now is your turn to practice. We will have uh, five minutes just to talk to each other in the breakout rooms and I would like that you can answer based on your reality but using the frequency adverbs. Vamos a responder basados en nuestra propia realidad, ¿verdad? Si usted me hace esa pregunta a mí, yo le voy a responder con qué frecuencia hago la actividad que usted me pregunta. But I will answer using a frequency adverb. Y le voy a responder utilizando un adverbio de frecuencia. Ok, uh, do we have questions about the exercise? En el pasado. ¿Tenemos preguntas acerca del ejercicio? No, en, en el... En el Es en el presente. For example, if you ask me, voy a poner un ejemplo. If you ask me, teacher, how often do you exercise? I will say, shame on me. <laughs> I hardly ever exercise, exercise myself. That's why my back pain never improves. Okay, so that's a real answer from myself. Es una respuesta honesta, ¿verdad? De mi parte, porque realmente, raramente hago ejercicio, ¿verdad? Por eso siempre estoy con el dolor en mi espalda. Eh, it's a joke, es una broma, pero es cierto. Eh, entonces, eh, no tiene que, realmente los frequency adverbs nos preguntan acerca de habits, o uh, let's say routines, ¿verdad? Anoche hablábamos que los frequency adverbs nos sirven para describir hábitos o rutinas, ¿verdad? Y usualmente se responden en presente, ¿verdad? If you ask me, teacher, how often do you go to the beach? I can say maybe twice a year, <laughs> only for vacation, maybe for Easter and December. But this year, because of the pandemic, I haven't gone. <laughs> That's my reality. <laughs> okay, so let's talk each other. Eh, no sé si me di a entender con los dos ejemplos. Sí? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. excellent. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So let me open the breakout rooms and let's start talking to each other. Okay, please join. I will go around just to see if you need my help.
Hello, Hazel. Uh, do you have problem joining the group, Hazel? If you have problem, let me know and I can resend the invitation. Carlita, hello. Do you have a problem joining the group? Hola, Carlita. Carlita and Mabel. Hello. Hello, Carly. Hello, Mabel. Uh, did you receive the invitation? Logro? Ah, ok. Sí, pero... Carlita tiene problemas. Uh -huh. Ok, hagamos algo. Quédense ustedes aquí en el main room. ¿Verdad? Quédense en el salón principal, solamente que no me van a ver porque estoy yendo y viniendo a los grupos. But you can work here, pero ustedes pueden trabajar acá sin problema. ¿Ok? Teacher. When the time is over, I will tell you. ¿Verdad? Cuando el tiempo se nos termine para el ejercicio, les voy a avisar para llamar a los demás compañeros. Ok. Ok, perfect. Okay. See you in a minute. Adelante, sí, sí. De, eh, las preguntas que íbamos a hacer son las que usted había proyectado. Sí, esas preguntas aplicadas a usted. Pero, pero de esas sí nos mandaron la imagen, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cómo no? Sí. Se las puedo compartir ahorita para que usted le tome un screenshot. Con mucho gusto. Ahí está. But I already sent them. Ya las envié. Okay. Eh, there are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight questions. Okay. So Thank since you. you are three, I expect that you can divide them by three. Son como nueve, ¿verdad? Entonces, u ocho. Pues como ustedes son tres, pueden escoger tres preguntas cada uno para formularle al compañero. Okay. Y respondérsela, ¿verdad? Ok, see you in a minute. Ok, let's see. Ok, eh, solo pedirle si pueden incluirme a Carlita en el chat. Eh, Carlita dice que la saca el internet. Eh, Mabel. Ok. Entonces tal vez eh, vamos a usar el chat con Carlita para que ella pueda como responder a las preguntas. Y, y así practicamos de alguna manera. If not, I will come back. Si no, piense usted en las posibles respuestas, Mabel, y yo voy a estar regresando para eh, trabajarlas con usted. Or maybe Hazel eh, can open the mic. O tal vez si Hazel logra estabilizar su conexión y abre el micrófono, ¿verdad? Ok, está Ok, bien. see you in a minute. Hello. No, a veces hago ejercicio. Uh -huh. Vaya, eh, le voy a dejar la otra. Uh -huh. uh, how, how often do you go, do you go to beach? Uh, I, I often uh, I go in, in I go in, in the beach. I uh, often go to the beach. I often go. Vamos a utilizar la misma estructura que está acá. Eh, solo vamos a cambiar el frequency adverb, ¿sí? For example, if you say, how often do you go to the beach? You may say, I rarely go to the beach. Pero esta parte se nos mantiene igual. Go to the beach, eh, dance, or go to the cinema, ¿sí? Okay. It's, it's the, the frequency, la frecuencia con la que hacemos la actividad es la que nos va a ir cambiando cada uno. Ok. okay. Perfect. Okay. See you in a minute. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Mabel. May I help? Puedo ayudarle con la práctica, Mabel? Um, Veo que ha sido un poquito okay. difícil comunicarse, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. No, con ninguna de las dos, ni por el chat, ni por... Ok, está bien. So, let us work. Trabajemos un ratito juntas. Uh, okay. Mabel, how often do you exercise? Um, I... 
-huh. Usual, no. I usually. Usually, I usually um, do exercise or exercise. I usually exercise. Okay, very good. And how often do you go to the beach? Um, I, oh, I seldom, seldom, or yeah. seldom? Se seldom, 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 to the beach. Go, go to the beach. Go, ah, go yes. to the beach. This structure remains the same. Esta estructura se mantiene igual, verdad? En el presente y el complemento. What okay. changes is the the how often we change it for the frequency adverb. Lo que hacemos es cambiar, ¿verdad? La pregunta, how often, eh, y sustituir por el adverbio de frecuencia. For example, you say, you said, I seldom go to the beach. Yeah? Okay. Excellent. So I will move around the other group and then, then I will come back. Voy al otro grupo y luego regreso para hacerle las otras dos preguntas y así. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. How often do you play saucer? <laughs> How often? How often do you play saucer? Soccer. Excuse me, may I help? Just soccer. Soccer. Yes, like a K. Esa doble C se vuelve como una K. Soccer. Soccer. Yes, excellent. I... I never play soccer. Okay. okay. Maribel. Um, Perfect. Okay, Maybell, I'm back. I would like to ask you the next two questions. Okay. Uh, Maybell, how often do you dance? I never dance. Never? Never. Okay, you say I never dance. Okay. And the next question, how often do you go to the cinema? I rarely ever cinema. Rarely. Not, um, Which adverb did you use? ¿Cuál adverbio utilizó? Seldom. No. Hardly or uh, the ha, 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 hardly oh. ever, hardly ever. Hardly, hardly ever. Yes, they go together. These two words. I hardly ever go to the cinema. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go, go, go to the go. cinema. I hardly ever go to the cinema. Yes. Okay. Okay. I will come back to ask you the next two questions about the mountain. Go to the mountain and ride a bike. Okay. Regreso un minuto para hacerle las otras preguntas. Ok, excelente. ¿Cuándo uh -huh. exercise? Uh, veamos, let me see. Ah, que a ver cuál tengo que usar. Este respondo. Ah, uh, ok. Uh, I usually, uh, I usually uh, do exercise. Mm. Esmeralda, how often do you go to the beach? Hola. Esmeralda? Ahí está, estoy viendo lo del pirámide. Uh -huh. Una de esas tengo que responder, va. Uh -huh. Tienes que escoger una. I occasionally uh, on the beach. Casualmente voy a la playa. Go. I occasionally go. Go to the beach. Okay. I occasionally uh, go to the beach. Go. Go. Go to the beach. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Teacher. Oh, adelante. Y cuando usamos el sometime, va antes del subject o después? But usually it goes before the subject. Usualmente va antes del sujeto. You can say, sometimes I go to the cinema. Uh, sometimes uh -huh. I go to the beach. Sometimes uh, that's the only one that goes 
at the beginning of the sentence. Ok, thanks. Es que todos los ejemplos aparecían después. Eh, se puede después, pero se puede también antes. Ah, ok, sí. Ajá, okay, es el sí, único el... que usted sí lo puede mover sin ningún uh -huh. problema. Ah, uh -huh. ah, ah, pues sí, escuché bien su comentario al principio, ok. Yes. Thanks. Ok, see you in a minute. Okay. Excellent. Mabel, I'm back. Now my question is, uh, how often do you go to the mountain? I never go to the mountain. Okay. My next question to, uh, for you is, how often do you ride a bike? I occasionally. Okay, occasionally. Occasionally. Yes. Ride a bike. Okay, very good. Okay, let me go to supervise the next team and then I, I come back uh, to ask you the last two questions. Okay, okay, see you in a minute. I never. I can't. Hi, hello. You. How is it going? Were you able to ask each other? I can use a bike. Yes. No puedo usar la bicicleta. I can use a. I, you can. I can. I can. I can ride. I can ride. I can ride. I can ride a bike. I can ride. I can't ride a bike. A bike. Yes. I can ride a bike. Maybe you say I never. I never uh, ride a bike. I can't ride a bike. Okay, I, I never buy a bike. And you I can, can ask because you can, buy. you can say because I can't uh, write. write a bike. I can't can write a bike. Yeah, excellent. Very good. Uh, did you ask uh, answer all the questions or do you still need some minutes to complete? Nada chicos, todavía les hace falta un par de minutos para completar el ejercicio. Okay. Complete the, the question. Ok, excelente. Call you back in a minute. Nos llaman un minuto, ok? Ok. Excelente. Ok, okay Mabel, I'm back. My last two questions. How often do you play soccer? I hardly ever play soccer. Okay, very good. And the last one, how often do you go for a walk? I often go for a walk. Okay, remember that in that verb, the L doesn't sound. Recordemos que en el, en el verbo walk, caminar, la L no suena, ¿verdad? You, you say, I never uh, or I often uh, go for a walk. Walk, la L no suena. Una O, walk. Okay, very good. Thank so you. People is coming. You're welcome. People is coming back from the breakout rooms uh, exercise. So I will project the questions and I would like to have uh, one, let's say, we were five groups. So we have two, four, six, eight questions. So I will need that each group can interact with at least two questions. Voy a pedir que cada grupo pueda interactuar con al menos dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Para hacer el ejercicio in the plenary session. So I would like to start asking, uh, let's see, Jose Vela, Jose Vela and team. Would you like to start, please, Jose? Hello, teacher. Hello, Jose. Okay. Sí, sí. Uh, es, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Hola. Uh, okay. how, 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 often, how often do you go to the beach? I occasionally go to the beach. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, now you ask him, Esmeralda. Ahora usted pregúntele a él. How often do you exercise? 
I usually uh, do exercise. Okay, very good. Do we have someone else in your team? Teníamos alguien más en su equipo? Hazel. Okay, Hazel. Uh, now you can ask her, Jose. Pregúntale a Hazel. Hágale una pregunta, Jose. Okay, Hazel. Uh, how often do you go to the cinema? Hola. Este, I sometimes go to the cinema. Okay, very good. Thanks. Great job. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, Brenda, Brenda Valladares, Brenda Steen. Uh, would you like to continue, please? Okay. On to Maribel. Okay, Maribel, it's your turn. How often do you go to the mountain? Uh, we cannot hear you, Maribel. Could you please open your mic? We cannot hear you. Okay, okay that's great. Okay. I never uh, <laughs> go to the cinema. The mountains. <laughs> <laughs> he changed the destination. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So now you ask her a question. Ahora usted pregúntale a alguien más del equipo, Maribel. Okay. Um, how often do you do you dance? Uh, Isaac. Okay, Isaac, how often do you dance? I rarely do you I rarely do you dance mm, I rarely dance never or we uh, no rarely uh, rarely okay uh -huh. rarely I rarely I rarely dance. dance okay very good excellent uh, who else was in your team uh, Isaac mm. Maribel. Um, Only Maribel and. Um, Todos nuestros tres están. Y en Brenda. Okay, now. En Brenda, Brenda, yes. Okay, now you ask Brenda. Ask a question to Brenda, please. Just to okay. close the circle. Mm. How often do you go for a walk? Brenda, how often do you go for a walk? Friday. Uh, Okay. I rarely, rarely for, go for a walk. Walk. Okay, just walk, remember walk. that walk sounds uh, without an L. No suena la L, ¿verdad? Decimos wo, walk, okay? walk. Okay? Walk. La L walk. no suena. The L doesn't sound. La L no suena. Okay, mm -hmm. great job, team. Excellent. So now is the turn for Ronnie's. Ronnie's team. El equipo de Ronnie. We cannot hear you, my dear. Could you please open your mic? Your mic is closed. No le podemos escuchar, Ronnie. El equipo, el sonido está apagado. Okay, now yes. Ahorita, 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 ahorita. Okay. Daniel y Genaro, Eda. <laughs> okay, Daniel and team. Uh, Ronnie. Gémosle. Uh, how often do you exercise? How often? Uh, how often do you exercise? Exercise, Ronnie. Okay. Uh, I never you. I never exercise. Um, Genaro. Okay. Quería yeah, yo, pero ya. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Daniel. Let's let's Ronnie ask Genar Genaro just to yeah. close the circle. Uh, how often do you go to TV? I seldom uh, do you go uh, seldom go oh. to the beach. Okay, very good. I seldom go to the beach. Excellent. Now, Genaro, ask Ronnie uh, just to close the circle. Ahora pregúntale okay. usted a Ronnie para cerrar el círculo. Okay. Ronnie, 
How often do you dance? It? Sí, eh, I always eh, dance. Okay, I always dance. A happy person. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes. Listening to music and dancing makes you feel happy. I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now let's see, Elena, Elena Steen. El equipo de Elena, no sé si habían participado. Creo que no, no, no recuerdo haber escuchado a Elena. Iris. No sé si están en el mismo equipo. No, teacher. Okay. Eh, Maribel, Elena, en, en ahí. Ok, please. Adelante. Ok. Eh, how often do you ride a bike, eh, Elena? How often do you go a bike? A bike. A bike. Oh, permítanme. How often do you ride a bike? I, I never. Okay. I never. I think you. Okay. You said that you never ride a bike because you you don't you don't you can't ride a bike, right? Okay. Ok, excelente, thank you. Now you ask her. Ahora usted haga una pregunta a su equipo. Eh, Pre ¿Le pregunto yo ahora? Sí. I never dance. I never go dance. Ok, excelente. Eh, The last question, la última pregunta para quien no ha respondido, ¿verdad? Para Maribel. Okay. Eh, how often do you play soccer? Maribel, were you in this team? ¿Estaba Maribel en este equipo? No. Yes. Ok, how often do you play soccer, she said. No sé si nos escuchó Maribel. Que tenía problemas sí, con... Ah, ok. Está bien. Sí, es que sentí que Maribel estaba en otro equipo, pero it's ok. No se preocupe, si sí, sí, no se puede. Ok, let's see. Virginia, el equipo de Virginia. Yes, teacher. Ok, please. It is um, Adriana. Ok, Adri ok, please. Ok. Ah... Ibis. Okay. How, how often do you exercise? Exercise. Exercise. Okay. Exercise. Uh, sometimes I do exercise. Okay. Now you ask. Ask question. Okay. Uh, how often do you go to the beach? Uh, I already go to the beach on vacation. On on vacation. On on vacation. On vacation. Yes. On. See, sí, so on vacation. On vacation. Okay. Very good. Uh, the last question. Uh, eran tres, but that you were three people. So you can ask a third question to someone else that has not answered. Okay, que me pongo hey, ya terminamos. Ah, okay. Elena okay. Yes. okay, thank you. Thank you very much, team. I think that all of you already participated. Thank you very much for answering these questions. So now you know how to answer to the question how often. When people ask us about how often, they are asking about the frequency. Therefore, when we answer, we normally use a frequency adverb, like always, usually. Normally, which is a synonym of generally, often that is a synonym of frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. Okay, now let's, let's work together this part. Vamos a trabajar esta parte. Eh, 
complete the sentences with the appropriate frequency adverb and the correct form of the verb in parentheses. For example, I eat pizza. My father drink orange juice. My mother prepare fried eggs. I eat soup when I am sick. My best friend drink milk. My English teacher eat cereal for lunch. My sister drink soda at night. My parents, okay, number eight, la número ocho dejen así porque no se completa, pero eh, podríamos decir my parents uh, make, um, let's say, uh, handicrafts or make the bed or whatever. But let's work just seven. Vamos a trabajar siete, ¿verdad? So what do we have here? Here you have to use a frequency adverb. En la primera parte vamos a utilizar un adverbio de frecuencia. And in the second line, the right uh, uh, form of the verb. Y en la segunda, la, la forma correcta del verbo, ¿verdad? It means that if I'm talking about he or she, significa que si estoy hablando de él o de ella, eh, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Como estamos en presente, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tendríamos que hacer? Agregarle S o S. Yes, respect the third person singular rule. Respetar la regla, ¿verdad? La tercera persona singular. Excellent. Ok. So, this is the part we are going to complete. Thank you, thank you, Isaac, for sending the picture. Very good. Ok, ese sería el último ejercicio por el tiempo, ¿verdad? We are going to go back to the breakout rooms. Y nos va a quedar de tarea, ¿verdad? Uh, practicing the questions. How often do you make pizza at home? How often do your parents let you drink soda? How often do you eat bread? How often do you eat chicken soup? How often do you eat fruit and vegetables? How often do you make cupcakes? How often do you buy cereal? How often do you eat fried eggs? How often do you eat pizza and french fries? How often do you cook for your family? So this is homework. Esto es para practicar en casa, ¿verdad? So the one that I want you to answer here, el que quiero que tratemos de responder en, el, en la práctica, in the group, is this seven. Esta siete, ¿verdad? Okay, do we have questions? ¿Tenemos preguntas? No. Okay, let's join again the rooms. Vamos a abrir otra vez los salones. So please join. Si poda, por favor nos podemos unir. I will reassign some people. Voy a reasignarlos a algunos de ustedes that had some internet problems maybe. Que tal vez tuvieron problemas de internet y no se pudieron conectar o se salieron del equipo. Ok. Let's work. Please join the invitation, my dear Hazel, um, Elenita, and Carla, Carlita, maybe you can join now, and maybe Mabel can join this time. Let's try. Tratemos, ¿verdad?, de unirnos a los grupos. Um, Elenita, Mabel, do you have a problem? Okay, you can stay here. Ustedes pueden seguir acá, ¿verdad? And you can try to interact eh, among you. Pueden tratar de interactuar entre ustedes. And use the chat. Y utilizar el chat, ¿verdad? If you have problems opening your mic. Okay.
¿Por qué? Eh, cuando se, se habla de tercera persona, dijo la teacher que es de aplicar la regla, agregarle S o ES, creo que es. Yes, that's right. Which number are you talking about? ¿De cuál es el número de, de oración están hablando, chicos? El número 2. Sí, la 2. Ok, my father eh, drink orange juice. Vamos a tomar un ejemplo. Eh, ¿El papá de alguien de ustedes toma jugo de naranja? How frequent? ¿Qué tan frecuente? I occasionally. Occasionally, ok. Entonces vamos a decir, my father occasionally drinks. So drink. you add the letter S. Le agregamos la letra S porque estamos hablando de he, ¿verdad? Uh, third person singular, tercera persona singular. My father drinks orange juice. Okay? Okay. Excellent. So you follow that pattern to talk about my mother, my best friend, my English teacher, and my sister. Casi todas van en esa tónica. Los únicos dos que son diferentes son I y pizza. And I eat, I eat soup when I was sick. When I am sick, excuse me. Entonces, si, si usted me pregunta, yo diría, I rarely eat pizza. That's my reality. And I um, always eat soup when I'm sick. That's me, ¿verdad? Estoy hablando de mí, de I. En ese caso, no aplico la, la regla de la tercera persona singular. But for all of them, pero para la, los demás, ¿verdad? For the rest of them, My father, my mother, my best friend, my English teacher, and my sister, it applies. Para lo demás se aplica porque es tercera persona singular, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ok, excellent. See you in a minute. Los veo en un minutito. Okay. Eat pizza. Como pizza. My father drink. My father usually drinks orange juice. Orange juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, number three. Uh, my mother prepare, prepare, prepares. Prepares. Excuse me. Prepares. Remember to add the rule. Agregémosle la regla de tercera persona singular. Prepares. Prepares. Ah, okay. Yes, please. And this applies for my my father, my mother. My best friend, my English teacher, and my sister. Okay. Okay, excellent. See you in a minute. Okay, thanks. My father. My father. Net. Let, 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 let. Hello. Yes, let. Dejan, dejan tomar soda. May I help you? Hola, chicos, ¿cómo van? Did you finish the right part? Yes, finish. ¿Terminaron yes. la parte derecha? Yes, yes. finish. Excellent, very good. Yes. Did, did you apply the rule for the third person singular? ¿Aplicaron la regla para la tercera persona del singular? Yes. Ok, perfect. I'll call you back in a minute. Lo llamo en un minutito. See you. Okay. Okay. Usually. 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 Never. Hello. How is it going? Hello. <laughs> ¿Cómo vamos, Hello. chicos? You go for seven questions. Okay. Did you finish seven questions? Yes. Excellent. I'll call you back in a minute. Okay. okay, very good. See you in a minute. Yeah. Normally. Hello, oh. how is it going, my dear team? How uh, More or less, teacher. Okay, may I help you before I call the other people to the main room? ¿Los puedo ayudar antes que los demás se nos unan al salón principal? Sí, vamos a está en la número tres. Okay. Number three. Okay, don't worry about it. I know you have had difficulties with your internet. No se preocupe. Sé que han estado teniendo problemas con su internet. Uh, we are going to conclude mm -hmm. all together. Vamos a completar todos juntos. 
and just uh, say that in the case of my father, my mother, my best friend, my English teacher, my sister, eh, aplicábamos la regla de third person singular, ¿verdad? Yes. Por ejemplo, si decía yo, my father always drinks oranges. Mm -hmm. My mother eh, never prepares, prepares, with the letter S, fried eggs. My best friend eh, hardly ever drinks milk. My English teacher never eats cereal for lunch. My sister always drinks soda at night. Something like that. Okay. Algo así, ¿verdad? Podríamos haber usado cualquier otro frequency adverb, pero en esos, en esos ejercicios siempre respetábamos la third person singular, ¿verdad? Le agregábamos la letter S. The only ones different were I, en I, ¿verdad? Porque ahí, como estoy hablando de I, no aplica. Ok, my dears, let me open the, uh, let me close the room and people is going to join us. Se nos van a unir los demás compañeros. En honor al tiempo. Uh, let me share again. Vamos a compartir. And let me see what they did. Vamos a ver what the other people did. Ok, so, would you like to start? El equipo que estaba en el salón principal, ¿le gustaría compartir cómo nos quedaron? ¿Una o dos? Creo que era Mabel. Y no sé si estaba ahí. Number one. Ok. I occasionally. Uh -huh. Pizza. Ok, excelente. Very good. Ok, now I need a volunteer for number two. Eh, voluntario, voluntaria, para resolver el número dos. Yo, yeah, teacher. Please, go ahead. Uh, my father uh, usually drinks orange juice. Excellent. You apply the third person singular rule. Excellent. Thank you. Number three. Volunteer for number three. Ok, let's see. Vamos a ver. Voluntario para el número 3. My mother. Yes. My I... mother usually prepares fried eggs. Ok, prepares uh, fried eggs. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, you add the letter S for the third person singular. Very good. Ok, number 4. Who solved number 4? Thank you, Zach. Okay. Me? Please, go ahead. Adelante. I always eat soup when I, when I am sick. Okay, it is. Thank you. Very good. In, this, in that case, the third person singular doesn't apply. En ese caso, no aplica la regla de tercera persona singular porque estoy hablando de me, que es primera persona, ¿verdad? I. Okay, thank you. It is number five. Let's see, volunteer for number five. I rarely eat soap when I sick. Okay, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it's okay. I rarely eat soap, eat soap when I am sick. Very good, excellent. Okay, next. Thank you, Brenda. Number five. Yo, teacher. Please, go ahead. Uh, my English teacher never eats cereal for lunch. Okay, never eats because I'm talking about a third person. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, next. Siguiente. My sister uh, sometimes drinks soda at night. Okay, very good. You apply the third person singular. Drinks because I'm talking about she, my sister. Okay, very good. So we are going to um, uh, stop the exercise there and let me just uh, remind you to practice this. Vamos a practicar estas en casa, ¿verdad? In order that you can continue answering to the question how often, okay? So uh, just to conclude, I want to show you this. Para concluir, vamos a ver esto que es importante. If you can have a screenshot, 
si podemos hacer un screenshot y le voy a pedir aquí a mi amigo eh, que nos ha estado ayudando grandemente con las imágenes, creo que ha sido Isaac. If you could send us yeah. a very good image to the group, si nos puede compartir una foto bonita al grupo. About this. Eh, this is the correct word order for the frequency adverb, ¿verdad? Este es el, el orden correcto de los adverbios de frecuencia. For example, subject, eh, podemos tener otra forma, ¿verdad? No solo las que les he compartido. Esta es otra estructura que dice subject plus auxiliary verb plus adverb plus main verb. I have always done my homework. Aquí estamos utilizando otro tiempo que no necesariamente es el presente simple, ¿verdad? Sino que es un eh, presente perfecto. Yo siempre he hecho mi trabajo. No se preocupen por el tema de presente perfecto. We are going to study it later. Lo vamos a estudiar más adelante, ¿verdad? Um, pero para que ustedes vean que también se puede trabajar con otros tiempos, ¿verdad? Susan has always lived in New York. Susan siempre ha vivido en Nueva York. I have never eaten dog food. Nunca, yo nunca he comido eh, comida para perros. ¿verdad? But the correct order in this case of the adverse of frequency or indefinite frequency. The correct or order in this case is always plus subject plus main verb. Hardly ever eh, plus subject plus main verb. Eh, for example, eh, seldom plus subject plus main verb. Eh, rarely plus, eh, but in this case, eh, solamente rarely, don't go at the beginning. Este no, no va, ¿verdad? Al, 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 al principio, ni tampoco eh, always. Vea, yo no, no digo always I get up early. No, yo digo I get up early, always, o you say I always get up early. Este always nunca va al principio. ¿Verdad? Eh, es el único caso, ¿verdad? Eh, de ahí tenemos eh, que decimos eh, I always get up early or como les decía, I get up early always, ¿verdad? Eh, puedo decir también I eh, hardly ever, I seldom, I rarely, I never. ¿Verdad? Entonces, todos los que están en rojito, eh, don't go at the beginning. Exception, using always or never eh, to give order or instructions. ¿Cuáles son las eh, excepciones? Por ejemplo, cuando yo estoy utilizando el always or el never como un command. Por ejemplo, never touch this surface. It's hot. Estoy dando un comando, una advertencia. Nunca toque esa superficie. Está caliente. Never touch this surface. It's hot. O, o always keep your, um, let's say, always keep your mask. Eh, por ejemplo, en tiempos de COVID, ¿verdad? Always keep your mask on your face. Siempre mantenga la mascarilla, ¿verdad? Eh, sobre su rostro. Eh, or, Always uh, keep your hands clean. Siempre mantenga las manos limpias. Solo en ese caso, porque estoy dando una orden o una instrucción, solo ahí sí puede ir, eh, el, el, en este caso, al inicio, ¿verdad? Pero de lo contrario, it says they don't go at the beginning. No van, usualmente no van al inicio, ¿verdad? So again, ¿verdad? Vean acá. Eh, el ejemplo que ya habíamos visto, ¿verdad? Y aquí tengo otro. Eh, subject, eh, Susan, excuse me, the, the formula is subject plus auxiliary verb plus adverb plus main verb. Susan has always lived in New York. Aquí estamos hablando de un tiempo que no es necesariamente el presente, ¿verdad? Si no estamos hablando de un eh, present perfect, presente perfecto. Ok, again, just to remind you, 100% always, you're always late. Uh, 90% usually, we usually go to the cinema on Sunday. 70% often, he often cooks pasta. 50% sometimes, 10% hardly ever, or rarely, and 0% never. Okay, because of the time, we are going to stop here. Por el tiempo, vamos a parar acá. And tomorrow, we are going to continue with this 
eh, adverse of definite frequency. Vamos a tocar un poquito de esto mañana ya para cerrar el tema. Ok, do you have questions so far? ¿Preguntas hasta aquí? No. no. Ok. Ok, excellent. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.